We're here with Dale Sessions of Dale Design SF, who is the winner of our Reader's Choice Kitchen Contest. And he is going to show us around this kitchen and tell us a little bit about how it was a long time in the making. Originally, the homeowners were kind of after just a simple update, where we were just going to do a facade kind of makeover on the cabinetry and kind of keep the same layout that they had. But after some strong convincing and lots of designing back and forth, I was able to really convince them to go with some really bold moves. First bold move was vault the ceiling. As you can see, it's just amazing by vaulting it, which is true to the nature of the house. In addition to that, we just expanded the opening. It used to be a three foot opening into the space, and we took away what used to be a wet bar area um, and opened it up to the dining room, so it's now kind of combined and it's much more open. The other thing that we did was took the end wall, which used to be the sink counter area, had upper cabinets and a small portal window that looked out onto Mount Diablo. There was an existing deck, so I thought, well, let's take advantage of the existing deck, make an indoor-outdoor space, so we now have a kitchen that leads you right out to the deck, right out to the view. The shape of the island is a wedge shape. This was done on purpose to create extra space on that side of the kitchen so that we had seating area. Um, we had, have a line of stools so people can actually sit here, watch the homeowner. It's kind of a theater setup, so you homeowners over here preparing a meal, serving the guests, and the guests kind of watch the homeowners as they prepare the dinners. And then there's just this massive you know, circulation around the island itself. Originally, the homeowners had 70s flat front cabinetry. It was light colored oak. And we wanted to really make it bolder, uh, a rich color. So we were thinking chocolate oak would be gorgeous. Uh, it's very modern, it's a very simple move, and it just makes a, a kitchen look amazing when you go with a dark color. I convinced them to go and start shopping for appliances right away. because that's the biggest problem with designing a kitchen, is you kind of get sabotage when appliances get changed midstream in a design. So it's good to nail down your appliances right away, and we can work the design around the appliances. We have a Sub-Zero glass front refrigerator, which is gorgeous. The Wolf range, it's, it's big, it's bold. Homer loves to cook. We gave him a really streamlined sink that's real deep, square cut. It doesn't have the, the roundedness like a typical sink does. It's gorgeous.